And here's the shoe rack my wife bought from Ikea probably. And you can see how we've well exploded. This isn't even all the shoes we have as a family. There's more scattered elsewhere. Uh, so this is my son's room and this is his bed. It's his new big boy bed. Uh, but this is the bed we've had since he was a baby. It was one of those deals that uh, it started off as a crib and then we got the attachment to turn it into a toddler bed and then into a grown-up bed. So the part of the toddler bed we didn't need anymore got thrown out, but I cut these bars off of it. And uh, it's really nice looking one on the outside, but it's just laminated um, crap, pressed board. But they still look pretty nice on the outside. I have a good number of them. So I'm going to use them to make a new rack to store our shoes in the entryway. So the problem I've run into now is uh, the bars that I cut the center braces from are wider than the ones that I cut the legs for. So the miter joints don't line up just right. They're a little bit, the legs don't line up with the bottom of the braces. But uh, these are going to be covered up by the, the long boards and that's all right. I'm going to make it work. I was originally planning to have these spaced out at the edge of these legs like that, but uh, these are not as wide as I was envisioning as my, in my head, and I think that um, it wouldn't be secure for my shoes. Definitely not for the little kid's shoes, right? So I think I'll just scoot them closer together and let the shoes overhang on either end. We'll still have, um, you know, this much space on either end of the rack hanging out which is not as aesthetically pleasing as i had planned but it's going to be functional <laughs> 